guys and welcome to update 68 of Red Alliance. Now, I know what you've all been thinking, that I was dead and that I was gone and you had no idea where I was and I wasn't making a video for over a year. Well, I was never gone in the first place, I was just uh, busy and I've been focused on doing other things as well as the game. Uh, but I'll make a separate video on uh, why I was gone for such a long time. And anyway, let's get into today's update video. A lot of things in the game have changed and uh, been improved since the last time I made a video. Here I am in this scene and uh, this is an updated prison level. Now, the prison level has undergone a lot of changes, just like all the other levels pretty much, because I have almost entirely reworked the whole game up to a point where it looks entirely different. Now, I do want to do one thing, I want to disable the player graph, yeah, so that thing doesn't, there, doesn't appear. Uh, to start off, I changed the lighting entirely in this level and uh, all the other levels. I've also implemented new game mechanics such as stealth, which is now uh, not really scripted, but like in some parts of the game you will be able to play with a stealth instead of just uh, loud, I guess you can say. I have uh, reworked entirely the weapon play and how the weapons work. I've updated the crosshair, the player settings. Oh, and I got a new computer, so now I'm playing on a much better settings than I used to in the other update videos. So this video is going to be in uh, 60 FPS, hopefully. <coughs> the one thing that I still haven't, well, for the most part improved, is the voice acting. Well, in most cases, the voice acting has been improved, but in some cases, I still have to change it. For example, like this uh, event. But the events of the prison have been obviously altered. The prison is now in an aftermath of an so explosion and attack. Too bad we have to clean up this mess now. That's the last. So these enemies don't know that I was there until I learned them because I am one of the survivors of the prison attack that happened. Now, uh, <laughs> I haven't played in a long time, so don't blame me for my game. I've also changed, uh, like updated a lot of things in the game, such as the AI. The AI has been improved and optimized, as well as uh, the functionality of what they do. I have added a lot of new levels to the game. Well, I haven't showed in most of them, in the previous updates, but I have a lot of levels in the game ready. Like, this is only one of the chapters, like I said in the last update as well, I remember. But I have. I can't shoot what I'm talking anyway. As I was saying, I have. Uh, I have more than uh, one chapter, and this is just one of the chapters, and the game has nine chapters. And each chapter takes a place in a different environment and uh, follows where the last one left off. I have also finished writing the storyline and basically making all the levels. I've also made the boss level, so all the levels are in game and ready now. The only difference is that uh, I'm now still making edits to some of them, but for the most part the game is here and it's ready. I will show you the prison level, or at least the part of it. Oh, where, where did you come from? Let me... Also, I have a heavy button attack now, which is a uh, right click for the mouse button, which essentially just allows you to have a heavier attacks. Uh, while I'm at it, I will quickly talk over how the weapons now work. Well, like I said, the weapons now have uh, recoil, like actual visual recoil, um, because this has um, not been entirely implemented in, be in the game before until this update video, but anyway. Um, weapons kind of have a spray pattern, not really, not, uh, more like they have a pattern of the recoil, but it's uh, random sometimes, but it's just right for all the weapons. Also, I, if you noticed, I have a ammo display on the bottom right corner of the screen, where you pick up ammo, it now displays what ammo you picked up, and uh, like basically what ammo you picked up. There you go, like for example, if you kill this guy, you picked up his ammo, and here is another ammo. So, uh, this level is gradually improved in terms of its looks, appearance, uh, I, the lighting has been altered, it now has uh, the aftermath feeling as I try to make it, and uh, the city level, which I'll show after this, uh, has undergone substantial changes as well, uh, huge changes in fact. 
uh, improve the key cards. Now the key cards and like the keys, uh, you don't have to ca physically carry them. You can just uh, pick them up like I did, and uh, they will be stored in your inventory slot until you use them. So in this case, uh, the key card is for this part, and it opens the door. I am. Uh, I'm going to show this little level in a bit, I just want to show a bit more of this level and the functionality of uh, the AIs. So, the game has been also massively optimized. Uh, I'm running on a much higher graphics preset as before. Uh, well, that's also due to how my computer is a lot better now. But the game has been overall a lot more optimized, especially the AIs and the physics. So yeah, I guess I'd, uh, I will go now into the city level and uh, show you how the city level looks like now because A had a lot of improvements as well. So I will load city level now. Uh... By the way, while the level is loading, I wanted to give a quick shout out to a few people who have helped me with the voice acting. And uh, those people are Tim Morosky, Sam Connor, and Taylor Bayov. Uh, I'm sorry if I pronounced any of those names incorrectly, but yeah, those people, they have helped me with the voice acting and um, some other things, and uh, big thanks to them, and I will post their links to like their work, and um, I guess their, uh, yeah, just their works or their social links in the description, in the description, so if you want to support them, uh, go ahead and do that. Also, a uh, thanks to Andrei Shulgaj for uh, helping me with the soundtrack for this game, and uh, make sure to check out those people, and uh, let's continue with the update. As for this player in general, um, I have updated, updated a lot of things. I have changed the canal, I have removed the fences on the top, I have added uh, the clothes hanging from building to building, and I have generally improved this level a ton. Oh. Okay, he's dead. So this level is a lot more detailed than it used to be before. Oh, there's a light there. I didn't know that. Forgot about it. There is still a sniper here, I can get him, yes. Oh, and that guy is firing me like crazy. I don't see him. Oh, okay, yeah. there you go, he's dead. Come oh, on, get over. Oh, uh, here's the sniper rifle. Get you. Um, the player controller has been improved a lot as well. Um, if you played the demo of 2015, you know how annoying the controller was now. I finally fixed it to a point where player now uh, auto crouches when he gets onto things and he uncrouches when he's on top of it. So this kind of makes jumping on top of things a lot easier than before. So jumping into onto crates or like stacking crates and climbing on top of them is so much easier now than before. Which is a big improvement. Oh, and also I've added bullet penetration, so you can now get like double and triple Thank you. I owe you big time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he runs away. I don't know, this guy is fine. So basically, he runs away because he's scared. I've added the graphs. Uh, also, in fact, I've worked on my own tools in the editor because I've been customizing my editor uh, to an extent. So I made my own uh, grass placement tools. I made my own, like, um, just minor tools, basically, that would speed up the development. And grass is one of them. Also, the ropes here, uh, well, not these ones, in fact, but, like, these ropes, uh, they are moving and uh, they are using line renderers. Now, um, Adrian has helped me with uh, making them because me and him work together on this uh, tool, you can say. On this rope, he, me and him yeah, kind of collaborated, I guess. So we made this uh, moving ropes. That's pretty nice. That's a pretty nice detail, in my opinion. So, as you can see, the level is uh, a lot more compact with props. There's now leaves on the ground. Uh, the trees have changed. Oh. Hello. Oh my god, I'm out alone. That guy is hiding behind a tree, I cannot see him. Oh my god, I missed. There you go. Oh, he went away. There's a sniper. Do you not see me? Or. Hello? I'm not sure what this guy was doing, but he did not see me for some reason. So this city is a lot more dirty now, because the idea is that in the storyline, this city is... Uh, oh, that's where you are now. <laughs> yeah, you can pretty much kill anyone. Anyway, the idea is that the city is um, 
being controlled now by the oppressive units, which are these guys, uh, that we're killing, I guess you can say. Now, they are controlling the situation, the city, and obviously um, the player has to meet up with another group and fight against them, the, the rebels, I guess. And uh, these oppressive units that we're fighting, they are in control of the city, and uh, the civilians are scared, and no one takes care of the city, which is why the city is like this. All these shootings. Shut up. <laughs> Don't want him talking. Uh, so yeah, that's the idea. Kind of. That was amusing. I don't have ammo. Yeah, I'm not I guess I can use a grenade. I also improve the grenades. I'll just give myself ammo, why not? It doesn't really matter at this point. There you go. Oh my god, my aim sucks. Okay. Actually, another thing I forgot to mention is um, I've added a pretty important things in the setting that actually some people pointed out. I've added a gamma slider so you can increase or uh, decrease the brightness uh, of the game, which is pretty essential. In my case, I'm keeping it at 0.90. Uh, so, for the sake of the video, so you can see me. But personally, myself, I'm playing a different preset. Why is the music preset playing? Huh, I'm not sure why that happened. Um, let's save and I will uh, reload the game. So yeah, the game reloaded, um, without any interference, and a lot quicker than I did it before. I kind of feel bad for cheating myself, I'm in I'm in again, I'm I, I do this almost every time I make an update video, I always cheat or something. Um, yeah, the city now looks... A lot more detail in my opinion, so <sighs> if only this music wouldn't have been playing in the background, that'd be splendid. But I guess I will have to disable it myself later. Alright, let's keep going. These guys are pressing some civilian really <laughs> <laughs> <Did not like it. laughs> anyway, uh, also don't mind these yellow billboards. Uh, they are supposed to have like some, uh, I don't know, just some kind of fake advertisement, but I haven't added any of them. So I will replace those later on. As always, in fact, but you know me. <laughs> anyway. Uh, do I have an RPG? Oh, I don't have an RPG yet, even. Wow, oh, Jesus. Okay, I missed that one, as always. Where's the last guy? Leave oh, me alone. Sitting next to this I guy. don't want to get in trouble. Well, you're in trouble. Huh? <laughs> anyway, I will now go into the mountains level and show you the new gameplay mechanic, which is the stealth. And I'll play some stealth for you in the level. So I will now load the mountains level. Okay, so here we are in the mountains level. Now, the mountains level still isn't finished, but it did have a lot of update. I guess you can say new things since the last time I showed it. The mountains level is now foggy and it has a blizzard storm now also this this is a new uh, vehicle that player will be driving which adrian made so big thanks to him for making it uh, the vehicle driving has been improved a lot since the previous vehicles vehicle attempts that i had but this level isn't finished and i'm still going to make changes to it uh 
gameplay as well as uh, I don't know, I guess just like the looks. Oh, let me drive over this guy. There you go. Because this level, I decided to make it more foggy because, like, this way it obstructs a lot of the background. Um, but like I said, it's still not finished, so a lot of things I will improve in it, or like remake, whatever. Uh, the, in my the main purpose of this level is actually for me to show off this poster, which I will get to in a bit. So let me drive over there now. Where is my buggy? Uh, let's go. Uh, so the buggy now, the, actually the wheel turns. If you remember in my older videos, the wheel was never Agent, turned. Agent, a quick note before I talk you. Your path lays through... Well, let's just say you are likely to be heavily outnumbered. Now this, this is an enemy outpost with... Just uh, guards patrolling it. Now, they aren't alerted right now, so I will save here, just in case I do alert them. So, there's two ways of taking out enemies. Yeah, I should let me take out them. So you can either kill them by shooting them with a silenced weapon, or you can take them out by hitting them on the back with a baton. To basically, like, knock them out, I guess. So yeah, this doesn't alert them, but if I shoot them with, like, an AK or any loud weapon, like an RPG or grenade, they will get alerted. So, let's uh, sneak inside and uh, see what we can do. Oh, I guess the glass is kind of loud, I might want to change that. And uh, there are quite a lot of enemies, so the idea is that the player isn't forced to play this level by stealth. He can either choose to play it by stealth or, by stealth or he can I don't know, I guess go loud and just assault everyone. Uh, but assaulting is more challenging because you will have you will have uh, the whole battalion, I guess you can see the guys after you, and there are quite a lot of enemies in this level. So stealth is definitely advised, for the, well not really advised, but it's an option in this level, I guess you can say. Did I see so? Now this level is also... Um, in terms of how you you can complete it, uh, you can uh, you can go around the building, you can go on the sides of the building. Except that, that guy doesn't see me. Oh, I missed him. I can't believe that. There you go. There's multiple approaches you can uh, do to complete this level, and player is not like bound to one way to complete the level. He can really like take more than one approach to how he completes this level, which is something. I don't know, I think it's a good addition to the game, to uh, its current mechanic. Oh, and also the wire is moving here as well. So, we sneaked around uh, around those guys on the stairs, so now they sh didn't see me like that oh, thing. Oh, shit, I found it wasn't meant to fire. Uh, there's ladders, so you can climb on top, you can climb down, and you can take more than one approach. Hello, don't mind me. Uh, also, if you sprint too close to the enemies, that does alert them as well, so uh, keeping a noise to a minimum is kind of essential, but it's a good thing to, to, to keep in mind when while playing this level. Another thing I have actually implemented, but I haven't showed it, is um, the difficulty setting. The rebels are going to invade soon enough. The squad that has been patrolling the outskirts of the rebel base has not been responded for over an hour now. We need to send a squad over there and check up on them. Let's take out this sniper quickly. No anyway, the difficulty setting is um, only changeable once. Not well, really. You can set it when you start a new game in the main menu, or in the settings then you can uh, lower it. So right now I'm playing on the standard normal difficulty setting, but it can always be lowered. But if you lower it, it will warn you about... Um, possibly resetting achievement, because some achievements require you to play on certain difficulty level, uh, so it, it just warns you about that. And thank you for driving outside of my house. Oh, <laughs> really. Anyway, so he, it's an option for the player to always lower the difficulty if he finds the game too hard, but honestly, like, uh, normal is the standard kind of game. You don't, you normally don't, you wouldn't normally want to play on any other difficulty. 
And, well, what just happened? Back orders of Dr. Gray. Let's take out this guy. He's enjoying this view. Thank you. Man. Tell you what, we are going to wait another half an hour. If then no response from the Lost Squad that was received, send your men over there. Roger that, sir. Oh, get down. Where is this guy? I swear there was one more guy somewhere here. Oh, there he is. And these guys, they also have flashlights <coughs> to kind of help the player to indicate where uh, the enemy is. I mean, what way he's facing, so... Huh? Am I hearing? No, 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 I'm not hearing anything. Uh, I guess at this point, uh, I'll show you the stealth. I guess I can... Hmm. I guess I'll alert the moments and show you what happens when you alert the moment because the whole game, you'll have the whole pretty much squad after you run off. So let's throw a nade there. And <laughs> oh, Jesus. So once you get alerted, the music starts playing and all the enemies start running after you. Where is that guy? What did I tell you about silent approach and the blizzard? And your friend uh, contacts you is on uh, in the other oh, that's the heavy guy. The heavy guy is a lot more health and they have a lot of armor. I know there's a lot, but <laughs> Jesus. Okay, that guy knows about me now. There you go, he's dead. Oh god, another heavy. Oh, do I have any grenades? I don't. Okay, so I have to use an RPG. That's the camera. Jesus. Jeez, so uh, quite destructive. So you can go around the building as well, you can break these bombs to get in from a different uh, entrance, I guess you can say. So hopefully he won't come inside. He opened the door. Oh. I don't have anything to fight him. Except this. Oh, you're dead, mate. Okay, I think that's all of them. I hope at least. I don't remember how many of them there are. I don't know. Where is he? Oh. I don't see him. It's foggy. Oh, there you go. Got him. Oh, so yeah, this is the... One of the... 
interesting approaches to this level. I mean, like, this is one of the interesting areas of this level where you can play as a stealth or you can assault all the enemies at once. So, and uh, there's multiple approaches, so you can choose your own way of playing this level, which is always nice. You can even climb like on the roof and choose to go up there. So this level, unlike some of the other ones, has a lot of variety in how you player is. I literally don't have anything to fight with. Fighting these guys can be a bit tricky. Um, what can I do now? I, mean, I don't really know what else to show. I've been, it's been such a long time since the update video that I entirely forgot what to, what, to, what I added. Anyway. I guess I'm gonna go and now show one of the actually newer levels and uh, show you one of the like, later levels that I've been working on. Uh, so yeah, I will load that level right now. Okay, so here I am in one of the later game levels in the game. Now this is an... Uh, I don't know what you can call it, like an uh, underground uh, research facility prison area cell block, I guess? So this is where, uh, according to the storyline, uh, the bad guy, Dr. Gray, has been keeping all the test subjects and um, using them in his experiments. So, but now, uh, according to the plot, uh, there was an outbreak to an extent, and the test subjects have escaped, and some haven't. So this is um, an aftermath in that kind of area, I guess you can say. So these are like some of the test subjects that he used. Uh, so it might be a good idea not to alert those guys or to get close to them. But of course if you open it, uh, they'll run after you. But at this point, this is where remaining Dr. Gray's guards, or like as you can say, oppressive units, are uh, still trying to maintain the situation and help doc help Dr. Gray uh, in his goals. And this is the shotgun. The shotgun has been uh, massively re reworked as well. Oh wow! Interesting. <laughs> so this is like an uh, office slash. Uh, Research facility area. Might be tricky as well. Where are you? I know that actually a cool thing that you can do, well, in theory, what you can do is if you uh, open the cell blocks, uh, these test objects, they will run after you, but then if they see the enemies, they will run after the, the guard as well, which is uh, something a player can do to his advantage to to help himself, to help himself progress to the level. Uh, the next upcoming area is the office where people who work for Dr. For Dr. Gray, like the scientists and, uh, I don't know, just people where they worked and uh, where they did research on uh, whatever Dr. Gray has been working on, which is something the player will find out. <sighs> so there's a lot of blinking lights, and this guy is actually... D d don't! Don't shoot, please! Dr. Gray hired us to work for him. We're not responsible for any of this. This guy, you can choose to Thank save him very or much, kill him. Sir. Let me show you where the supplies are. You'll need them. Follow me. If you save him, he will basically just guide you to the to the room with supplies. Uh, of course, you can discover that yourself, but this is just an option where you can either kill or save. Stop, Doctor Gray. He's gone mad. We're treated terribly. This guy, <laughs> tough like me. Also, I've added flares. Uh, wait, I'm here. These are just like flares that just add more light. Now, of course, you don't have to use them because you have a flashlight, but. Uh, they are just there to add extra light, and they do have their own gameplay, kind of, I guess you can say, uh, unique appearance or introduction in one of the other levels. Now again, just keep in mind that this is only one of the many levels that I have, and uh, I'm only showing like a fraction of it. This level is uh, 
a lot longer and bigger than what I'm just showing because I'm just showing like the most interesting area or oh hello there you're also hiding from me so I'm just showing like uh, some of the interesting parts of it okay I won't here yeah, we can have a flare <laughs> So, uh, in this level, well, the idea is that the player and his ally that he is cooperating with in this level, they have to find and get to Dr. Gray's lab. I mean, his main lab where he is hidden, and then take him down. Um, which is actually something I can tell you about now. One of the reasons why um, the update video took so long to come out, this one, is because I was working on the boss battle, and um, ended up remaking it entirely. I was not satisfied with how it played out, and um, so ended up reworking the whole level again. I mean, from scratch, basically. So that took a few months to make. I mean, that was just one of the reasons why um, this update video took longer than expected to come out. Also, I'm going to be releasing a new trailer for the game because the old one is quite outdated. It's like over a year old, so it's about time. Uh, we have an updated trailer. As well as that, I will probably make a new video. Um, I guess I'll call it update 67, no, 68.5, which will just explain what well, what I'll talk and I'll explain why uh, I was absent or not on YouTube for over a year and uh, what I've been up to basically. So until then, um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.